Hey guys, so today's practice will be a yin and yang um, standing flow that really works into this sense of fluidity and sense of balance between the left and the right, strong and soft, being groundedness and the sense of freedom of moving of flight and uh, it takes inspiration from the teachings of Buddhism um, that talks about um, efforting without the sensation of struggle and um, you know in life often we feel that sometimes when things aren't really going our way it can feel really much like a struggle when we are forcing things too hard when we are bulldozing through our work through our health, with our relationships, everything can feel like we're stuck in quicksand even. So this practice looks at how we can cultivate a sense of ease and softness into the pose. So there will be some poses that we will work into including Skandasana and um, Anjaneyasana or in Yin we call it lizard pose. So if your heels can't really ground down um, through the floor, there are some variations you can use with a block and I'll demonstrate them first. So coming with the Skandasana, you should just allow the knees to be in line as much as possible with the front foot and the ankle. So if it's really hard and your, uh, your, ankle, uh, your heel can't ground down, you can just place a block right under where the heel is and this should give you a little bit more leverage for the spine to be uplifted and you want to continue to press your um, outside of the arm against the inside of the thigh. Yeah. Flexing the foot, just engaging, pushing the ground away, like the toes to point up towards the sky. So this is Skandasana. And the other pose we will be doing, we'll transition from Skandasana moving forward into low lunge or in yin we call this lizard pose so in this pose you can see um, very slowly we'll rise up and just place you can interlock the fingers so just place back the palms on top of the thighs and just allow the hips to open so this should really come into a stretch for the back quadricep muscles and this gets too intense Feel free to grab a block or two. And if this pose is very strong, you can just always come down onto the block. And just stay here before you progress to the other pose. Yeah. And I hope you enjoy the class. Let's get started. So we begin standing in the middle of the mat. Come to a very gentle side stretch. Rolling the shoulders back, coming into mountain pose. As you inhale, start to reach out with your left hand. I'm mirroring you guys. And as you exhale, we come into banana asana. I'm just curling to the side like a banana. Sliding your right palms down along the side of the thighs. One more full inhale. Exhale, sliding to your deepest curl. And inhale, rising up. Now changing sides. Your left palm comes down. Inhale, reaching right arm up. And slide over, forming a banana shape on the other side. Staying here with each inhale, rooting through both feet with each exhalation, curling over on the other side. One more breath here. Inhaling, coming up. And forming back into your neutral spine. We're going to start with collecting up all the energy around us, sweeping the arms overhead, keeping a soft bend in the knees. And as you exhale, send this energy within you, just clearing. Filling that into your body. Once again, inhaling, reaching the arms, sweeping the palms across the hip, 
and as you exhale, turning the palms facing down. Very good. And very slowly, we're going to heave to our way slightly wider and turning the feet out, slightly coming into in Qigong, we call this the horse stance. Here, just try to keep this sense of fluidity as you move. Just allowing the hips to be as fluid as you need to. Allowing the knees to bend from one side to the other. One more full inhale here. And very slowly allowing this rocking to come to a still. Placing the palms at the sides on the tops of the thighs. Inhale, spine lengthens. And as you exhale, we're going to push away on one side and twist over to the other side, bringing the chest close to the thighs. Inhale, coming back. Exhale, now coming to the twist on the other side. Pushing actively with your arm against the inside of the thighs. One more breath. Inhaling, coming up. This time, arms sweep out and gently just press them away as if you're pressing the water away from the body's current. Just keep the arms a little bit buoyant and light. And staying here, we're going to start to collect all this energy and goodness above us, straightening your arms. And as you exhale, clearing and sending that away with you. Once again, inhaling, this time collecting energy, visualizing it coming from the earth all the way towards the sky through the crown chakra your root of wisdom exhaling allowing that to pass through all seven chakras all the way to your root chakra one last time in here and exhaling Then here, we're going to start to flip open into warrior two. Allowing the front heel to intersect the arch of the back foot. Arms reach energetically front and back. So one thing I like to do is to sweep the arms around in the ballerina shape. This activates the biceps. And at the very end, just pronate the forearms. And this will engage your forearms. The same here. One more breath, see if you can allow the knee to move towards the low toe. And then we start to inhale, reach the arm forward, allow the bicep to come to the ear, and we reverse the warrior. Staying here, keeping the bend in front of me, activating the core, arching back. This time, see if you can lift the back arm up and feel as if you're collecting this energy within you. Inhale, collecting a little bit of sunlight. And as you exhale, start to turn the feet in. Moving. Bringing that sunlight to the other side. And open up. Warrior two on the other side. Once again, let's do it on the other side. Inhale, sweeping the arms. In this beautiful ballerina shape, activating the bicep muscles. And as you exhale, just pronate the forearms. And that will help you to engage the forearm muscles as well. Eye gaze over your index fingers, looking towards the front. One more breath here. Inhale, reach forward with the fingertips of your front arm. Bicep comes to the ear and we reverse the warrior. See if you can maintain that engagement even through the arches of the back feet. Back arm comes up. Floating, collecting all this time, maybe the moonlight, this feminine energy rising up. And just channeling the slow, fluid movement as you turn the feet in, coming over to the other side. Once again, opening up into warrior two. This time you're straightening the front leg, reaching forward with the front palm. Coming into Trikonasana pose, reaching your arm up towards the sky. Staying here, working with the breath. 
One more full inhalation and exhalation here. And slowly reaching your arms forward. Feel like you can collect all this energy and rise up with that energy. And once again, exhaling, clearing that in, coming back to a variation of goddess or horse stance. One palm on the belly, one palm on heart. Just staying here, connecting with the breath, with your hips, with your hamstring muscles, with your thighs. One more side to go. Gently turn to the other side, opening up, warrior two. Straightening the front leg, moving into Trikonasana, sliding the front palm forward. Opening the chest up to the sky. Shoulder blades drawn back together, and engaged. Eye gaze over the top finger, one more breath. And very slowly, Inhale, rising up, so you can collect all that energy within you. And start to bend the knees, allow that energy, it makes the sun and moonlight, feminine and muscular energy, to restore the body, to find a sense of balance within. And just collect that energy. Inhale, straightening the legs. Arms sweep up. As you exhale, allow that energy to clear through all of your chakras, connecting you from your wisdom all the way to your basic needs. Two more times, inhale, straightening the legs. Arms sweep up. And exhale, coming back. One last time, inhale, the fullest one, the deepest one, the strongest one, and then the softest, most supple one. Allow that channeling, that energy to energize your body and mind. Now very slowly, just collecting this energy and we start to play. Shifting this energy from left to right. Straightening up one leg, shifting the weight onto the other leg. Notice how this feels as you start to shift your weight more towards one side and the other side. And see if that allows a little bit more space and opening in the hips. And if it does, just invite yourself to start to bend through one knee and come into Sangasana. Allowing the heel of the other foot to lift. Flexing through the foot. With your elbow, start to push away against the inside of the knee that's bent. Eye gaze towards extended foot, one more breath, and very fluidly we turn to face forwards, opening up into low lizard pose, stay here, one more breath, feeling the stretch in your front hamstring muscles. consolidating this energy and very slowly you feel this sense of 
openness, just invite yourself to come into skandhasana on the other side. Allowing the heel of the other foot to flex, toes to point out towards the sky. This time the other elbow presses against the inside of the thigh, eyes towards the foot. One more breath. And as you exhale, start to pivot and turn to face forward. Allowing the back knee to ground. Coming up into lizard pose. If you, can, if you like to, you can place the palms on, the, on top of the thighs. Just stretching the body. You should feel the strong sensation maybe here. In the quadricep muscles of the back thigh that are stretching. And the hamstring muscles of the front leg. Exhaling, gently guiding yourself back. Into skandhas in the pose. Grounding through the back foot. Consolidating all that energy. And slowly rising up. Spreading all this goodness around you. And as you exhale, fingertips come towards the heart center. Sarasati. Heel toe the feet back together towards the center. Back to your mountain pose. Feeling this sense of rootedness, this sense of balance between yin and yang. Muscular and feminine, sun and moon. Gently opening the eyes. Now we've come to the end of today's practice. I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon.